Solving these inequations is very similar to solving the equations. So, so find out what x is, get rid of plus 3. Opposite plus 3 is take away 3, do the same on the other side. 3 take away 3, 0, they cancel out, you're left with 2x. 11 take away 3, to get rid of times by 2, divide by 2, do the same on the other side. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so you've just got 1x. 2 is cancelled, so you've just got 1x. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So x has to be less than 4 for that to be true. First of all, start off with the uh, getting rid of the divide by 2 times by 2. Same on the other side. Divide by 2 is cancel out by times by 2, so you're just left with the numerator. 9 times 2 is 18. Get rid of plus 6. Do the same on the other side. 6 take by 6, cancel, so you're left with 3x. 18 take by 6 is 12. To get rid of times by 3, divide by 3. Do the same on the other side. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So for that to be true, x has to be bigger than or equal to 4. To work out x, first of all get rid of, well this is a positive number, because there's no negative symbol in front of it, assume it's positive. So to get rid of positive 10, take away 10. Do the same on the other side. 10 take away 10, they cancel out, you're left with positive 2x. 16 take away 10, 6. To get rid of times by 2, divide by 2. Do the same on the other side. 2 divided by 2, the cancel out, you're left with x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Cancel out this positive 10 by taking away 10. Same on the other side. 10 take away 10, 0. So you're left with negative 2x. Remember, that's not a minus symbol, that's not a subtract. That's a type of number, it's a negative 2 number. So that no longer is minus because there's nothing there. 4 take away 10 on the number line. 4 take away 10 is negative 6. Remember this invisible time sign here. So the opposite of times is divide. And we're going to get rid of this negative 2. Do the same on the other side. Divide by negative 2. So you can see here this negative 2 gets knocked out by this negative 2 there. They cancel out. Negative 2 cancels out negative 2. So you're just left with x. Negative 6 divided by negative 2. But because you're not adding and taking away here, two negatives make a positive. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now you've got to understand that whenever you divide or times by a negative, I'll repeat, whenever you divide or times by negative, that symbol there changes direction. It'll be the other way around, like that. So for that to be true, for that inequation to be true, x has to be less than 3. I'm going to demonstrate to you why this works. The fact that I've changed the arrow, changed the symbol going the other way, that's saying now x has to be less than 3. Now, pick a number that's less than 3, any number that's less than 3. For example, 2. 2 is less than 3. I'm going to test that 2 into this inequation. 10, take away, that's 2 there. What am I replacing the x with? What did I just choose? I just chose x equals 2, didn't I? So times by 2, what's that? 10 take away 4 is 6. So that side is 6. Ask yourself, is 6 bigger than 4? Is 6 greater than 4? It's true. Let's try another one. Let's try another number that's less than 3. Let's try x equals 1. 
replace x with 1 in here. So we have 10 take away 2 times. What are we replacing x with? 1. That's 10 take away 2 is equal to 8. Ask yourself now, is 8 bigger than 4? Greater than 4. It's true. Right, let's try and make this false now. Let's pick a number that is not less than 3. Let's say we pick x equals 5. So if you replace the x with 5 in here, you got 10 take away 2. We're replacing the x with, we're replacing it with 5. 2 times 5. That would be 10 take away 10 is equal to 0. So ask yourself, is 0 bigger than 4? False. So it was necessary for us to change the direction of the arrow. Here it was bigger than, greater than. Here we've made it less than. So whenever you divide or times by a negative, change the direction. So if you had something like this, it'd become like that. If you had something like that, change to that. If you had this, it'd become that, and so on.